Our job is to test the technology and see under which circumstances it works, for which type of participants, and then optimize that over time. Good job. We think that the digital gaming side is critical for the engagement of the patient. They can see how they're improving over time. And our work has shown that this engagement can lead to meaningful outcomes in the patients that are very engaged. So you can see that she's engaging a series of different muscles. It's also useful for quantifying the performance of the patient. We're using an evidence-based method to restore arm function in stroke patients. The biofeedback that our robotics and assistive technology provide is crucial in motor recovery. She could put little sensors over the muscles. Even if there's no movement, the muscles are triggering a signal on the screen that says open or closing. And so you're following those instructions and trying to do that. This one, uh, what you need to do is um, just match the elevator to the floor that it tells you. When you have a stroke, from, you know, your whole life is changed. Everything works together with your muscles. Some muscles are dead and other muscles work harder. Every day I get different movement in my hands. Virtual reality has a lot of capabilities in terms of rehabilitation. It creates a compelling world that makes people feel that they are immersed in that environment. It really simulates the demands of real life in a way that is very difficult to do otherwise. And it enables us to give real-time feedback to patients in many different ways. The technology is incredibly helpful. Uh, patients seem to enjoy playing the video games that we've created. And because they're portable and relatively inexpensive, people can be given these systems to continue to practice in their home environments. I really enjoy working on the machines to help me because the more mobility I get in my right arm is what my goal is. I'm thankful. Hi, I'm Shirley Mann. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.